I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a long way to go Say you wanna love me You wanna touch me Don't touch cause you got a long way to go Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool glass effect in Photoshop CS3, um, along with some added and additional uh, effects and stuff like that. So, please enjoy, um, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'm going to hop right into Photoshop. Alright, so, um, here's the um, file I was working on. Uh, what you're going to want to do is either create the size of your background wallpaper or any other size wallpaper you want to make. And press OK. Alright, so here's mine. I'm um, just going to press fit on screen so you guys can see it more. Uh, I always like to give my uh, backgrounds a cool gradient. So for this I'll just do like a radio gradient. Something like that. And what I'm going to do is select my shape tool over here at the left. And select my rectangle tool. And make sure it's on... Uh, you know the shape you know the shape button over there not the paths anyway what you want to do is hold shift and draw a small you know rectangle I mean a square something like that now mine is already set to this layer style I gave it so what you guys can do is head over into your layers panel double click on your shape what you want to do is make sure your opacity is all the way down and you want to give it a drop shadow if you want you don't have to, but you know it gives it more of an, uh, an effect. And select your stroke, and give it a cool gradient. So you want to make sure your gradient is something similar to this. So if you don't have that, go into your gradient editor. Make sure the the first one is black or something close to black. So mine is like, yeah, black. So black, white, black, white, black, like that. So black at the ninety uh, at the zero position. Um, right here is 25 white, 50 black, 75 white, and 100 for black, and you should be able to get the same same gradient. Or if you can, if you want to, you can go on my website and download the gradients there. All right. So once you have this gradient, make sure it's selected, uh, three um, pixels for the size, and press OK. All right. Cool. So once you have that. Control click on the, the thumbnail image of that um, shape that should make a selection around your box. Make a new layer and select your gradient tool again. You want to make sure you select a transparent to white at least. If you don't have that, just click on the gradient editor. And uh, no matter which one it is, you want to make sure you delete your. Uh, You want to make sure you delete. What am I trying to do? Uh, all right, gosh. If you don't have it, just uh, load up your default gradients. You should have a transparent to any color you have. So make sure it's that. Make sure your foreground is set at white. And uh, what you want to do is hold shift. And at the corner of the, the um, selection, you want to make sure you pull a gradient out. But make sure it's on. Uh, linear and not radial and try that once more like that do the same for both edges and then you kind of get this cool effect so press ctrl d to deselect and what we're going to do is select the um layer one and that shape layer we're going to link those together or if you want if you're done editing uh, press ctrl e to merge them all right so once you've merged them press ctrl j to duplicate it so you want to make sure you um, press those a few times so i'm press it a few number of times so as you can see it's duplicating a lot so I made about 10 copies and what you could do is just um, press control and hit the quotation or just go up to a uh, window I mean view show and grid right there and what you can do from there is kind of line up your grid so no matter what size wallpaper you have you can kind of line it up like that and what you want to do is make sure it's at the corners you do it at the corners like that or however you want to do it is fine um, it's just like a cool glass effect I kind of came up with I haven't seen anybody do this before so so this is a really cool effect um, definitely good in making uh, Photoshop wallpapers with this effect so 
so it's pretty cool and fun so you guys can definitely experiment with this if you want um, also just gonna delete these um, actually I'm not I'm gonna keep one and then delete everything else I'm gonna show you another effect with this glass effect alright so once you have this one square glass effect type tablet uh, what you want to do is control T to decent um resize it and uh, what I'm going to do is just hold shift and bring it out just like that press enter wow alright don't do that I'm going to redraw another um, square except I'm not going to hold shift I'm just going to draw one out I'm going to draw one out and you should still have this effect applied if not then go through the same steps you did before and create simply create a new layer uh, select my gradients oops I forgot to do the control click something like that have, I don't have to be too you know into it You know, something like that. Alright, so once you do that, I'm going to, again, merge them. Well, not merge them just yet, but you can. And what we're going to do is select Edit, Transform, and Distort. And from there, you can kind of move it around, kind of make it look like it's sitting promptly on the, you know, a layer or something. You can bring out your grid again and kind of align it like that press on press uh, get those grids out of there and you can kinda put some text there if you want and I'm just gonna resize that and there's a cool effect right there you can have it um, reflect if you want stuff like that effect you guys should know all right I'm just gonna rasterize it select my thing my feather just like that it's pretty cool pretty cool effect Oops. So there you go guys, it's me Mike and uh, it's a cool effect, uh, glass tutorial, glass tablet, whatever you want to call it, really cool effect. Alright, so it's me Mike, catch my tutorials um, on YouTube and uh, please rate and subscribe if you like and I'll see you guys later, bye.